In this video, we will learn about interior angles in convex polygons. First, let's briefly review what a convex polygon is. A polygon is a shape with many sides, such as this one. To be convex means that any diagonal that you draw between two vertices on the polygon must stay inside of the polygon. So this would be an example of a convex polygon. An example that would not be a convex polygon is something like this. Because if you take these two vertices and connect them, the diagonal leaves the polygon. So we're focusing on convex polygons, like this first one over here. Now an interior angle is an angle that is on the inside of the polygon. So this polygon, which has six sides, is a hexagon, will have six interior angles, one at each vertex. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to figure out the sum of the interior angles for a convex polygon. In order to do this, we're going to break our convex polygon up into triangles because we already know the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. And we're going to try to use this fact to figure out the sum of the interior angles for other polygons. So what I'm going to do is start at this vertex over here and keep drawing in diagonals in order to create triangles. So, so far what I just did, I have two triangles so far, one, two, and I can draw in one other diagonal in order to create two more triangles. Notice that if we think about the three angles for each triangle, one, two, three, one, two, three, and keep going like this, by the time I'm done with all four triangles, I've covered exactly all the interior angles for the polygon. So if I know that the sum of the interior angles for each triangle is 180, it means that the sum of the interior angles for the whole hexagon must be 180 times 4, because it's 180 for each of the four triangles. And 180 times 4 is 720. So now we just have to figure out how many triangles will there be for a given number of sides. This shape had six sides and it produced four triangles. In general, it will always be the case that there will be two less triangles than number of sides. So what I mean is if a shape had n sides, it would have n minus two triangles if you split it up into triangles. Therefore, our formula for the sum of interior angles is going to be 180 degrees for each of the triangles that the polygon is divided up into, and there will always be n minus two triangles. So the 180 is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, and the n minus 2 is how many triangles the polygon's been divided up into. So this is a big formula to know, that the sum of the interior angles for any polygon is 180 times n minus 2. And this logic is where that came from, the fact that you can divide a polygon into triangles where each triangle is 180 degrees. Now, if your polygon is a regular polygon, which means that all the sides and all the angles are congruent, then you can actually figure out what each individual interior angle is by taking the sum 180 times n minus 2 and dividing by the number of angles that there would be, which is n. And this gives you one angle. So this formula is the number of degrees 
in each angle. The original formula we talked about was for the sum for all the angles. And if you know that all the angles happen to be the same, you can figure out what each one is.